Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. About 200,000 drunk driving offenders in Michigan have a chance to wipe the slate clean. Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed House Bills 4219 and 4220. She says no one should be defined by a mistake they have made in the past. This applies only to first-time offenders under certain circumstances, however. They can seek expungement of the conviction from their record five years after probation ends. People charged in incidents that cause death or serious injury are not eligible. The bills also keep Michigan's legal blood alcohol level for driving at .08, eliminating a plan that would have eventually increased it to .10. One of the most iconic buildings in Detroit, in the skyline of Detroit, is up for sale now. The owners of the Fisher Building in a New Center put the historic landmark on the market. The platform bought it uh, at auction six years ago. Since then, we're told nearly $30 million have been poured into restoring the Fisher. It has over 500,000 square feet of office space, plus retail space and 1,900 parking spaces. The price is not listed, but they are welcoming offers. Detroit is making a final push to clean up flood-related waste in the city. September 3rd is the final day for daily pickup in areas drenched by flooding, and city leaders are urging people to help their neighbors. Beginning September 4th, bulk waste disposal will return to normal operations, and the city will resume issuing fines. The city says it's removed more than 60 million pounds of storm-related bulk waste over the past two months. For more information, you can use the Improved Detroit app or call the city. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. With the very, very high heat and the high humidity today, there's just lots of moisture and energy in the atmosphere. So through the evening and overnight tonight as well, we'll be here watching because when something gets started, it's likely it's going to be very, very heavy with the rain. So much so there could be some localized street flooding as we go along here. And winds are a secondary concern that might be over 55, 60 miles an hour that can create some damage. So 60, 73 is the overnight low in Detroit. Most spots will be in the low 70s. The storm chances are there this evening and tonight as well. And tomorrow also 91 another day in the 90 plus category tomorrow for Detroit and most of our area will be in the upper 80s and low 90s. It will all feel like at least the mid 90s when you factor in the heat and humidity together for the heating mix. So 91, 88 and then 85, a somewhat of a pullback on temperatures Friday. I think probably the driest day coming is Thursday, but we ramp back up to near 90 or at 90 for Saturday and Sunday. The shower and thunderstorm chances continue through Monday as well.